introduction. Right. Okay. Oh, cool. Hey, mate. You alright? Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, so I'm, I'm Carl, and uh, I work in the cutting department at Restrop, and uh, I mostly work on the uh, lasers, cutting the hypon and plastics. Yeah, just up it, up into the Dales, and uh, yeah, a bit of the Peak District, and uh, sort of over to Hebden Bridge is good for the gravel. So yeah, all over really. And some gravel riding. Yeah, gravel riding and uh, bit, still a bit of fixed gear riding. <laughs> I've only really been doing cycling with uh, normal bikes for, I don't know, uh, six, six, uh, six years. But before that, it was all, all just trials biking, hopping on walls and uh, doing gaps and uh, just riding on rocks and things. I think just when you you just when you start doing longer rides, you just think think of the uh, the next the next goal, and they just keep getting longer and longer, or, or harder and harder. So when, once you've done your first hundred miler, and then you just want to you just want to uh, top that. Would you say you're the kind of person that is wanting to push yourself each time on every ride? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Not not all the time. I like I like going just going backpacking and having fun with friends. But it's not it's nice to push yourself every now and again, which uh, the GB Jero will be pushing myself a little bit. <laughs> As type one, wait, where you uh, you're in you're enjoying it while you're doing it, and then after you you're enjoy, it's like you're like oh that was, that was a good ride. And type twos. You're not enjoying it while you're doing it, but after you can appreciate that it was an amazing ride. And type threes, where you're not enjoying it while you're doing it, and after you just you you wish you hadn't done it. So yeah, probably type two. <laughs> oh, somewhere between type two and type three. I think there'll be a, there'll be a lot of suffering, but I where, think. Where, where does you, where does your average ride sit? Type, type two, maybe a bit, a bit to type one. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be fun, but fun have sufferings, uh, kind of fun as well sometimes. So GB Jura's lands end to John O'Groats race. There's uh, four stages, so about 500k each, and uh, I think there's about. 90,000 feet of climbing in it. Yeah, so last weekend, sort of a, a warm up for the GB Giro was the uh, King Alfred Way. So I went and did that with my girlfriend over three days. So that was about uh, 70 miles a day. So that was a, a little bit of a warm up for uh, the event. This is my bike. It's a uh, Ribble CGR 725. And I've got a, uh, obviously, full restrap kit. Uh, saddle bag at the back, 14 litre. So that's got all my uh, sleeping kit in and uh, any extra clothing and uh, things like that. Uh, I've got the full frame bag. That's mainly full of tools and tubes and maybe a few extra snacks. And, uh, top tube and two canister bags so I have a, a third bottle in one of the canister bags and then it's uh, snacks in the rest and then uh, I've got the canister bag uh, at the front which will probably have my uh, jacket in and uh, a few other bits and bobs. I start the race on the 14th of August and you can uh, follow my progress on the Race Collective website and uh, click the link below to get to there.